exhibit opened at Windsor Science City today. The Robot Nut exhibition includes more than 200 toy robots, and as Gail Mulder reports, they represent just a fraction of the toys in a private collection. You can tell as soon as you walk into the Robo Nut exhibit what inspired Windsor Electronics engineer Daryl Dupey to start collecting toy robots. I think I was abducted by aliens as a child or something. <laughs> Actually, uh, I, probably Lost in Space started me off when I was a kid. Since then, he has collected about 700 classic toys, including about 400 robots. He buys and sells them on eBay and fixes them up. Only half of them are on exhibit at the Science Center. It would be tin robots. Uh, wind up were the early ones, and then uh, after 1955, the Japanese pretty well um, uh, converted all the toys to battery operated. They perfected small electric motors, and these are the actual ones that I enjoy the most the uh, battery powered uh, robots from the mid 60s. Would you like to play with some of this stuff? Yeah. Why? Because it's. Uh, I've never seen it before, and it was very cool. Some of these robots date back to the 1950s and they're worth thousands of dollars. These reproductions of early 1940s robots are only worth about $20, but Dupuy does have some real classics. The one in the middle there, the radar robot from Nomura in Japan, uh, that one is from the mid-50s, and he's worth about $2,500 US. The oldest robot in my collection is Robert the Robot. He was actually made by Ideal in the early 1950s, and that really sparked the whole robot craze. This new robot dog is part of the Science Center's own collection. It's putting on shows at Dupuis' exhibit until the summer. Del Molnar, CBC News, Windsor.